Hillsides Education Center, uh, which is an organization, a school, and a home, a therapeutic uh, residential home and school for children in the foster care system. And the kids couldn't come to read tonight because, well, it's late. <laughs> and um, they need a lot of supervision. So uh, we invited uh, two of the teaching artists who have been working with the kids um, to read some of their work and uh, their own work. Hillsides was a really wonderful place that I've, uh, I learned, you know how oftentimes when you teach, you learn more from the students than really me teaching them anything. Hillsides, uh, these children, they're, some, some are on the spectrum, some come from some come from challenging family situations. This is one titled My Kingdom. And there were many times there when somebody would write something and you just have to pause for a minute. You just kind of let the air in the room. So this one is My Kingdom. Open eyes, star-filled skies that take me nowhere. When angels cry and ashes fly, I realize I'm so aware. The walls I build from the life I shield has finally begun. And here I sit as I throw a fit and I stay in my kingdom. The kingdom of my pain, the kingdom of my shame, where I am all I blame, where I will never change, where I will stay the same, the one I used to see, the one I'll always be. I have to give uh, great, great respect to uh, two people here in general. Actually, more than two, many more than two. Um, but there's a librarian at Hillsides, a woman named Sherry Ginsburg. Mm -hmm. yes. what, a, what a woman, right? No, saving lives every day, seriously. Sherry Ginsburg is a real, uh, you know, that like the everyday, the everyday bodhisattva, the everyday person that and they see their job to save the world, but she's not trying to take any kind of credit. She's just really humble and. Um, Sherry and I even co-authored a blog for Poets and Writers Magazine a few years ago, and we've become such good friends, and she's met my wife and, and come to different things. And um, So Sherry Ginsburg is wonderful. And Sherry said, you know what, you got to meet Douglas Manuel. And, and she was right. Both Doug and I have done things that over the last five plus years. And from about 2012 to 2016, I was working with Hillsides. And I go over there every couple of months now, even when I'm, things are busy, because it's just a wonderful place. So this is one more piece. This is from a kid, The Origin of Cell Phones. <laughs> For many years, there were pay phones, but it was not enough. <laughs> Long strings that made it possible to contact loved ones, but it was not enough. <laughs> <laughs> the riots were the week before my prom, a month and a half before graduation. Southern California was a time bomb, race relations worn like Vietnam, my crew more like the United Nations. The riots were the week before my prom, SoCal needed mindfulness like Thich Nhat Hanh. Multicultural coalitions for communication. Southern California was a time bomb. Tired citizens needed a new song. All the broadcasts played nonstop frustration. The riots were the week before my prom. Three months later, I moved out of my mom's. UCLA, my emancipation. Southern California was a time bomb. Poetry, music made it more calm. Journal writing became my salvation. The riots were the week before my prom. Southern California was a time bomb. <laughs>